What up guys, Kevin here. So I was looking at Best Buy, type in gaming desktops in the search and usually brings up a page or two of gaming desktops, at least that are available in my area. But today I noticed there were three pages. I was like, what? What? No. Did they get new PCs? And they did. My area, at least the Arizona area. They got a butt ton of brand new CyberPower PCs. This is CyberPower PC Supreme Liquid Cool Series. And um, I went with this one. <laughs> they had they had like a 3060 Ti one for like, I think, $10.99. It was insane. Insane. So, yeah. And, of course, I went with the most expensive of the new ones. This is... Um, Windows 11. That's the thing about pre-built. You get Windows. I don't think people really factor that in. Oh, just build your own. Like, okay, we'll go spend 130 bucks on Windows. Uh, Intel i7 13700KF, up to 5.4 gigahertz. Now, they had a 3071, which is the GPU, uh, that came with a 7700, a 7700, which is actually quite well and probably what I should have gotten this one, I just love Intel. I live near Intel, so I want to support my community. Um, and yeah, Intel rocks. Um, and this is what really, really sold me, though I got a big issue with this one. <laughs> 16 gigs of DDR5 memory, um, which is 5600 speed and 16 gigs. But we'll get to the issue with that in a minute. RTX 3070. Now this costs about 1680. Yeah, you can build a 4060 PC for that price. You might even be able to get a 4060 pre-built. Haven't seen them yet at Best Buy. Maybe they're on UAG or something. So, uh, uh, there. But I think this will at least get me through the next year or two. Oh, you just gonna return it, Kevin? Shut the fuck up. All right. <laughs> now, um, I. Love this version of the PC. I love the last version that came with the 12700 KF with the 3070. I think it's the best pre-built. Is this going to be the best pre-built? Well, no, because we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> but here is the case. Very black, if you like black cases. The 3070 with the 7700, excuse me, um, is a white, is a white uh, case. There it is. There's the front grill. Again, this is an overview. This is not a review. I literally just opened it up and took it out of the box. Look at the box. They definitely stepped up their casing. Of course, you get a keyboard and a mouse. Um, two, what, 3.0 USBs, power button there. Then we go to the back and we got, got some holes there. You got some ports, got plenty of USB ports. Love to see that. And then, of course, you got, what, one, no, two HDMI ports and two display ports. Very cool. On the back here, got, like, the little side grill. That's nice in the back. All right. Shaky cam, shaky cam. Let's, let's see if we can turn it on. Oh, my God, I'm turning it on on carpet. Doesn't work. Doesn't work, guys. If it doesn't work, let's go right here. Press this button. It's okay. You guys love the board movie, so you don't mind this. You don't mind this. All right, now let's try it. Dun, da, da, da. Woo! That all lit up. That all, ooh, it all lit up. Perfect. You get best cooling. This is why I love these. They don't skimp on the cooling. You guys get mad at me like, oh, geez, he's going to return it. Every video, <laughs> especially the first couple years of doing this, cooling sucks, cooling sucks, cooling sucks. I think they listen, and now I'm starting to see way better cooling in these PCs. So thank you, Kevin. You're welcome. Um, there you have it. If any of these lights are not working, there's a module on the back. That's usually covered in tape and it got loose. You just have to plug that back in. That's usually the issue. If, so don't return it like, oh, the light don't work. I need to return it. Now go open it up 
and it's probably loose. Just plug it back in. Well, there you have it. I'm going to turn it off. Whoa. 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 It's changing by itself. Now, this is how you change the colors. This little button here, I press that. Okay, maybe not. It's doing something with the fans. Usually it's a button that... All right, I better turn it off. <laughs> All right, um, let's open this guy up. Ah. I can't open it up. Yeah, just like a, just glass, just glass. All right, here it is. 3070 gigabyte Eagle. Those are the ones they like to use. It's a 3070. From what I understand, the 4070 is like 30% faster. Um, if I do end up keeping it, my goal is probably maybe towards the end of the year, if I get a bonus or something, I'll upgrade and sell this thing. Or maybe I'll maybe I'll get in the stream in and create a streaming PC. Who knows? Who knows? But DDR5. So we got a DDR5 motherboard from Asus. PCIe 4.0. 4.0 M.2. I mean, they've come down in price quite a bit. One terabyte, right? One terabyte? Yeah, PCIe Gen 4, one terabyte. Gen 4. What is the speed? Just assume it's probably the lowest of low that Gen 4 can get, but um, CPU is 13700KF. I love Intel. That has a lot of cores. So if you're going to be gaming, especially at 1080p, um, yeah, you're going to do way better with Intel here than Ryzen. Though I think there is certain games that run better on Ryzen. I don't know. Just go look up 7700 versus 13700KF or whatever. If you really, really care, because I'll be gaming at 1440p, 4K most games, just need to get 60 FPS. So that's why I'm not like huge on like, oh, I need a 4070. Would be nice, but um, yeah, I'm rich, guys. I'm rich. I can afford this stuff. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, 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 that's why I went with the 3070 here, pre-built, all maxed out, instead of getting like a 4090 or 4080. 4080 is just ridiculous. But you can probably see the issue right here. So DDR5, only 16 gigs of RAM. Now, that was my question was, doesn't like DDR5 like minimum? Like everywhere I see it's 32 gigs. Well, I guess if it comes with one stick, it's not dual channel memory. One stick. So I have to buy another stick of RAM. What the hell? What the hell? Like this would have been perfect. Been perfect. Now, I don't know how it performs. DDR5 with just one stick, but I'm going to have to go buy it to XPG. And get in there yeah xpg ram all right come on come on it's just what i don't know how much it's gonna cost we'll see i'll see but that will be something i have to expense just keep in mind when you see these um newer you know thirteen thousand or 7,000 series um builds or ddr5 builds just be aware, it may come with one stick of RAM if it says 16 gigs. <laughs> um, what a bummer, though. What a bummer. But I'll put up with it for now. Anyways, that's it. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Nice box. I love CyberPower. I really have no issues with CyberPower, especially these Supreme Liquid Cooling Editions. They seem to perform quite well. No issues. Oh, yeah, the power supply is 850 watts. 850 watts so <laughs> you're good you're good if you want to upgrade i think what a 4080 maybe even a 4090 that works i'm not too sure but yeah if you're going to stay within like the 70 series of cards that's plenty so i appreciate it there usually these companies like to skimp out on the power supply They're like oh we're only putting a 12 f so yeah we can just put like 400 power supply no all right i'm gonna go hook this up I'm going to go turn on the AC because it's getting hot. I'm getting sweaty. But thank you guys so much for watching. Jason Bourne. All right. <laughs> All 
I'll talk to you guys later. Later.